Is that George Carlin? Oh god, George Carlin, you got devil horns. I'm sorry, George Carlin, we gotta send you to hell. I'm sorry, buddy. And take the Doom Monster with you, George Carlin. I'm pretty sure you have a joke about that one, too. Tupac Shakur! Oh god, Tupac, I'm sorry, I gotta send you to hell, buddy. I'm sorry, thug life for life. West Side, represent all that jazz. I'm sorry, Tupac. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Peace Debt. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Oh, say it. It's actually War by the boss. Nope, never mind, wrong one. Anyway, jokes aside. Peace Dead Falcon, what is this good for other than your terrible singing? It's a very good question. This right here essentially is a game similar to Reigns. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with Reigns, but it's basically a game where you play the role of a king and you do a couple of options very Tinder style like. And these options that you make have an impact on you as you go proceed with the game. Here, however, you're playing the role of the Grim Reaper with a job title very similar to St. Peter, where you choose who goes to heaven, who goes to hell, who stays in purgatory, depending on the limitations set on you. And there's a story involved as well. As the game continues going further, the limitations get more tougher to actually kind of um, tell who goes where, so I guess that's where the challenge comes into play. And here's our friend, the Grim Reaper. What is Grim Reaper Cat? Just watching television, hanging out, having a good time, when he realizes that he's actually quite hungry. So it's time for us to get some Grim Reaper-like food over here in the fridge. What's in the fridge? No, there's nothing in the fridge. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Tumbleweed away. <laughs> Alrighty, you got an idea? What's your idea, Grim Reaper? You're gonna call? Oh, you're gonna call for a takeout. Right. That's usually what you do. There's no food in the fridge, mind you. Alrighty. Hey, I want some food. Food requires money, Grim Reaper. Food requires money. Money means get a job. Okay, we'll get a job. Good job, Grim Reaper. Get on out of here. <laughs> and that's basically the entire premise of the story right there. We needed to work to get money. So here we are in Apocalypse Incorporated. Let's get in here. Welcome to Apocalypse Incorporated, Reaper. I'm your superior. Look around and get down to work. So that's my superior right here, huh? Okay. These guys are um, quite hefty, aren't they? Look at this guy over here just chowing down. Okay, so um, let's see. Let's get to work over here. We'll talk about these um, skull tokens as we go along. But right now, we have a couple of things available to us. We have no tokens, so we can't buy any skills. But as you progress, you'll get tokens. You get to pick up a couple of skills that will help you down the line. It's your first day today, Reaper. So here is a simple task that you won't screw up. Devils must be sent to the left elevator to hell. People must be sent to the right one to heaven. Go ahead. Alrighty, so is that is that Drake? <laughs> I love to drink and act on stage. Alrighty, Drake, go to, go to heaven, dude. Gentlemen, don't cry. Now, mind you, you're going to be seeing a bunch of characters here that are references, so if I miss a few of these, for sure let me know in the comments which ones I actually missed. I died while shaving with my own razor. Fuck. Oh, it's a terrible way to go down, dude. Oh, you are a devil, my friend. Get your ass to um, hell. Can I work for you? No, no, get over here. Ah, look at this guy with his boxers, a nice little heart there too. Get down there, buddy. You should be ashamed of yourself. But this Silent J? Yo, I'm hungry. That might be Silent J. Oh, ho, 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 ho. you go to heaven, okay? Do monster. My lapty have worn thin. Get your ass to heaven, huh? You down to hell. You up here. You fucking Gandalf looking dude. I don't think it was Gandalf, but he looks similar to that. Rumors about my orientation? Haven't heard any. G get to heaven, dude. I want to go to Norway. Get over there. Shalom Goy. <laughs> Shalom Goy. Oh, God. Vodka, juice, petroleum, shake and burn. Mmm. Go to heaven. Get your ass to hell, okay? Oh, good God. We have Borat as well. It was our territory. I just heated some water in a toaster. Oh, that's terrible. That's a bad idea. That's an easy way to go down. Get your ass to hell. Who's this guy? I deserve the privileges. You check your privilege in heaven. How about that? Is that Conan O'Brien? It is Conan O'Brien. Conan O'Brien, you go to heaven, dude, right? Me and you are cool. Rumors about my orientation. We already saw you. Get your ass up there. Oh, no, it's it's Superman, but not Superman. It's like Radioactive Man, which is kind of like, you know, Simpsons, isn't it? Watch out, Radioactive Man. Watch out, Radioactive Man. That's it. And then they pick Mailhouse instead. Jog, ja, get, get to heaven. You go to heaven as well. And then, oh, my God. Oh, you devil. I don't know which one to send this one. Do, do they go to hell? Do they go to heaven? There's a human involved here, too. G get your ass to hell. Work's done. 
Okay, Let, let's see how we did here. Complete, we got 45 tokens. All clients are distributed. Clients 30 of 30, skulls 45 of 45. We earned 45. Time it took is 120, and the horseman influence, none apparently. Grade B. Had I been faster, I, I believe you get rated on the amount that you get correct and also the speed as well. I'm, I'm going a bit slower just to, you know, obviously do commentary as well. But the faster you go, the more skulls you get as well. So I'll try to speed it up here a bit more as we go along. So here we have day number two. Although, can I talk to you fellas here? I think we can, but um, at the moment there's no importance in talking to you. But as you go along here, you actually have to talk to him for different things. But for now, we're fine. Trying to send his demonic denizens to heaven, Lucifer began to endow people with his demonic powers and horns. From this day on, everyone who wears horns should be sent to hell. Go ahead. Alrighty, you don't got no horns, you go over here. You go to hell, because you're a... Oh, you go to hell too, you demonic dude. Get your ass to hell. Oh, you trying to hide your horns? Get to hell, buddy. Hey, it's Einstein. Get over there. You, you look relatively fine, get over there too. Go to hell, you devil. Get your ass to hell. Get your ass to hell, buddy. Oh no, you're not fooling anybody with those horns. G get, get up there, goy. Uh, you... I'm sorry, human. You're, you're with the devil, so you gotta go down there. You go to heaven. You go to hell. <laughs> I feel like I'm insulting these guys. You go to hell right now. You go to heaven. Is that George Carlin? Oh god, George Carlin, you got devil horns. I'm sorry, George Carlin, we gotta send you to hell. I'm sorry, buddy. And take the doom monster with you, George Carlin. I'm pretty sure you have a joke about that one, too. What the censored? Oh, you're censoring me now? Get to heaven. Go to hell. Is that Chuck Norris? Oh, I know that beard anywhere, man. You go down over here. Oh, it's a strong man. Get your ass to hell. Uh, heaven, I should say, not hell. Heaven as well. Heaven as well. Oh, you know the routine at this point. You go down there as well. Get up there, Silent J. And you go to heaven. Heaven, not hell. Hell. You go to hell, because you had horns. And there you go. We got a great A this time around, because I spent less time, you know, joking around with my, my participants here. So as you can see, we got all of them correct, it does seem. Um, and because we were speedy about it, got a grade of A. You can get up to A+, plus if I'm right. So we're up to 90, and here we have to talk to this goddamn fat slob, who's just chowing down on a piece of... Maybe like a giant drumstick or something? Oh, it's so hard to walk. I think it's because of the weather. Tomorrow it will be even more difficult for me, so I want to ask you a favor, Reaper. Work the next day for me, will you? Not for free, of course. And this is where the influence of the horseman come into play as well. So, if we say yes, we get an influence with, uh... What would you be? Gluttony or something? <laughs> I don't think... Gluttony's a horseman, but I get 150 points with this guy, and we also get 20 extra tokens for doing his job for today. Eh, let's do it. Two all beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, reward after work. Special sauce, that's like some McDonald's shit right there. Okay, let's go to work here. So, we have 90 tokens um, saved up. We have Misery. Each client has one less feature. That could be pretty useful when it becomes more difficult, and we have Mirror as well. An ancient curse breaks the usual course of events. Let, let's try it out, why not? Let me let me purchase this one here. Let's purchase Mirror. So we're avoiding Mirror this day around. I'm not sure what Mirror is, but um, I'm avoiding it now. So, day number three. Today, people started to use weapons, Reaper. Weapons are those dangerous things they will have with them. The way to heaven is closed for them, as famine's mouth is closed for the healthy food. Send everyone who gets to you with firearms or edge weapons to hell. Oh, it was famine. I was calling him gluttony. Um, anyway, I'm over here thinking of the seven deadly sins or whatever. So, um, firearms or edge weapon to hell. Let's begin. Okay. Oh, Mike Tyson with a sword? Get your ass to hell, buddy. You go to heaven. Silent J, you go to heaven again. I have a caveman, apparently. You go up here as well. You got a cape. Oh, that's a bow. Nobody said anything about bows, so I'm sorry. You gotta go to hell, maybe? Silent J, I told you, go to heaven. You have... Oh my god, a butcher snipe. Get down there. You have a sword? Get your ass to hell. You... Heaven? Oh, nice firearm. Nice eyebrows, too. Get to hell. Uh, you go to hell, too. Heaven, it is for you. You don't have any horns, did you? You know where you're going. You have a, a fucking rifle. Get down there. You seem fine. Up here you go. That's your place. Ooh, oh, the horns almost tricked me. You go to hell as well. You go up here. Down there. So they'll have multiple features coming up as you progress forward. So that's what makes it a little bit more difficult to figure out what's what. 
So right now it's easy because it's early on, but the further you go, the more features to get. Oh, Silent Bo or Silent J. No, no, not Silent J. You're J. Have I been calling him Silent J the entire time? I think I have. That's my bad. I'm mixing up my two characters here. You got a mallet. <laughs> go to hell. Oh, Borat, hell you go. You take him along with you as well. Yeah, I think I've been calling him Silent J. I'm an idiot. It's Silent Bob and J. Alright, so we got a promotion from Junior Apprentice to an Apprentice now. How about that? And we have some influence with the Horseman as well, which is going to be Gluttony. And we got a Grade of A again, which is good. I'll accept it. Here's Debt. Famine and pestilence used to mankind's illusions of maintaining a slim body shape and different diets and successfully reduced the population using fat-burning tablets for fitness. Their feature is that they burn all the body fat completely, which leads to dead, and affects us, Reaper, the amount of our... of our... I mean, your work. Therefore, I propose to send a moon to the planet, or we can simply replace the pills with, re with real less harmful ones. What do you think? Oh, so now I have an option. So if I agree, I... I don't have enough tokens for this, so I guess we have to say no? We're about to help out Famine and the other dude, but we're about to lose some... points with, um... Death over here. Luckily, we're at 800 with him, so I guess we'll have to go with this one. Interesting. I'm not sure what the influence is gonna actually do for us down the line. But, um, we got... Famine and Pestilence now. A bit of influence here. Okay. Let's go to the next day here. We have 133 tokens. Had I not bought that uh, mirror thing, we would have had enough. So I wonder if the mirror even helped me out. I really doubted this early on. Get 10 skulls in case of victory. Oh, that's an easy 5 extra tokens. Yeah, so we get 10 extra skulls if we win. I expect us to win. So let's purchase that one. And great forgiveness. I think I, I'm still fine. So let's go to the next one here. And we have day number 4 coming up. Let's do it. Uh-oh. Do you know, Reaper, that an average person has up to 5 liters of blood? Some have it on themselves, by the way. In order not to stain the white and pure heaven, those who are covered in blood should be sent to hell. Let's begin. Okay. You, you know where you're going, devil with a sword. You go to heaven. Uh, up to heaven you go as well. Mike Tyson with a bunch of blood. That would make sense. You got a gun, down there you go. Up here you go. Chuck Norris with the beard, up to heaven you go. Oh, you got some horns there. You can kind of see them because of the, the text, but they're there alright. You go up here, random dude. Oh, Einstein with horns, down to hell you go. You join Einstein, you join them. You, you bloody bastard, you go down there as well. Oh my god, we're just sending people. Oh my god, Chuck Norris beat somebody up. It's Chuck Norris, can you really blame him? Up to heaven you go, up to heaven you go. Down here you go, up here you go, and boom. So far we're doing really good, I want to say. Strongman with blood. Oh, do monster, you know where you belong. <laughs> do you have a question or something? Why are you raising your finger? Down to hell you go. Down to hell you go. Okay, down here you go. Oh ho ho. Oh ho ho. There you go. Work's done. That might have been the fastest one we've done thus far. So, because we doubled up as well, we got five extra tokens from our little bet that we did. And we had a, a plus, uh, A plus grade this time around. I guess maybe under 60 seconds and everything perfect, you get an A plus. So, that's good. Next one it is. No special tasks today? Alright, let's go into work, I suppose. Uh, great Forgiveness again for 13, and 30 seconds longer. Well, I'm not sure what's going to be the, the thing coming up now. For 8 tokens, um... It's only 8 tokens. Let's do it. 30 extra seconds in case they toss like a curveball my way. Oh, now hats? Hats and headgear save from cold in the wind. But here hats hinder a right decision. Oh, they're going to be hiding the horns in the hats! No way. Everyone who comes here can use hats to hide horns, and horns are a feature of hell. Your day begins. Interesting. Um, is that considered a hat? I don't think so. Oh, that was a mistake! He had horns hidden. Shit! Okay, so I'm... What's his name? Jay is now gonna be tricking me from now on. You have a hat. Down you go. I was... I didn't think that was a hat. I thought that was like a bandana. Down here you go. Down here you go. So I made a mistake already. It's on me. Oh boy. This is where it becomes difficult then. It's going to try to trick me. Down here you go. Up there you go. No, oh, Tyson with a weapon and a hat. Oh, here's Bob. Here's Silent Bob. I think you got a hat. Oh, no, no. You down there you go. Okay, so, guys, 
Silent Bob is not wearing a hat. Remind me of that. You have a lightsaber. I'm sorry, dude. Even with a lightsaber, you have to go to hell. You're going to hell, too. Up here you go. I think you're fine. Down here you go. Okay. Oh, he doesn't have one this time. Ah. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, I see what you're hiding down there. That's not a hat. That's just hair. Down here you go. Here you go. There you go. Boom. Boom. And up. All right, so we made two mistakes. And of course, oddly enough, Jay and Silent Bob are the ones who made me cause a couple of mistakes here. Luckily for us, um, it was still good enough because we... I think that the 30 seconds that we bought actually helped us out. Because that actually kind of like reduces the amount of time you took in general, even if you don't use it up. So we still got a great of A here, which is fine. But, um, okay. Who oh boy. Scary now that they're actually trying to trick me purposely. Here we have war, I suppose. Ares, Odin, Set, Reaper. I didn't put your name in that row occasionally. Do you want everyone else to do the same, Reaper? It's simple. Just work the next day for me, and I'll see what I can do in return. Okay, let's do it. Let's do a solid here, so we get some favor with war. Excellent. Yes. Reward after work. All right. Let's see what we got here today. Two hundred and twenty. Sixty seconds longer for the level or repair. Elevator crashed. Uh, I think we're fine. I don't want to buy any of these here. I just got to be really careful about the trickery that's being thrown my way. We're a senior apprentice now, mind you. One of the bloodiest day, Reaper, is today. There's so much blood. So you neat... What do you mean you neat? I'm not a neat. I don't live in my basement every single day. I go out on occasion. I'm not a neat. Puddles of blood left by the sinners are a clear sign of their bad intentions. So the hell is where they belong. Let's begin. Also, get ready for unexpected catastrophes. Oh, this is the one I was telling you about. So this could be a bunch of shit happening. This is probably where you have to start investing some tokens as well. There's a time limit. Okay. So you look fine. Uh, you look fine. You know where you're going. You look fine. I'm gonna look at their feet as well. That's not a hat. That's just a feather. He's an Indian or a Native American. Oh, you know where you're going. Uh, let's see. You down here as well. Uh, that's a, a toupee maybe, but it's not a hat, I don't think. Up here you go, down here you go, okay, oh ho, ho, you got the entire set here, don't you? Take him with you, take him with you as well, oh shit, catastrophe, lunatics hijacked the bus and ripped off a cliff, oh what does this mean, oh, what the hell, oh shoot skis, oh, up there you go, oh that was the wrong one, oh god, uh, heaven, heaven it is, Waldo, Waldo killed people, oh Jesus, okay, uh, oh, you woke up there. You go. Uh, is that a hat? I think that's a hat. I'm sorry, you're going down. I can't tell if it's a hat or not. Uh, you are fine. That's not a hat we, we established. You, you're fine as well. And Tupac Shakur! Oh, God, Tupac, I'm sorry. I gotta send you to hell, buddy. I'm sorry. Thug life for life. West Side, represent all that jazz. I'm sorry, Tupac. You have to go to hell this time. Um, okay. Scary. These catastrophes make it a lot more difficult now. But we still got an eight, which is fine. What's the Grim Reaper have to say now? Or debt, anyway. I'm the I'm a Grim Reaper. He's debt. The colonists landed on the mainland, literally just a few years ago from the current time point. They began exploring the land, and in order to free it from the natives, the colonists have decided to give them scarves and blankets infected with a deadly virus. Oh. We're going there, are we? Sure, pestilence is connected somehow. We can help both natives and ourselves, saving us a lot of work if you reduce the number of victims. Uh, E need? Maybe he means I? I need to weaken the virus to achieve that goal, and this requires sponsorship in the best traditions and the crowdfunding. So, um... I mean, we have 950 with debt, right? I could sacrifice 100 with that and get 100 with, um, Pestilence. I'm at 175 with him. I'm gonna go with Pestilence on this one. I'm sorry to say, I'd rather get more favor, I, I want to get like an equal amount of favor with everybody, so I could spare the few of them with the debt himself here. So here we go. Um, we have great forgiveness for an error, right? And we have strict rules. Additional influence for an unchosen horseman in case of failure. Hmm, not sure how that would help me out. Let's just skip it for now. Oh, here's the last day of week number one then. Oh, what the hell is this? <laughs> I got like some sort of like, you know, Pharaoh thing happening here, too. Your first weekend, Reaper. Though you work on weekends today, we have a surprise for you. A theme day? 
Use your accumulated knowledge surrounded the inhabitants of ancient Egypt and do your job properly. Go ahead. Um, I don't know what you mean. Like, if it's a pharaoh wearing, like, a pharaoh hat, do I send them to hell, or does he go to heaven, too? I'm confused now. Um, I guess you go up? Uh, I, I don't know if I'm sending the right people to heaven or not. I hope so. Oh, you got a hat. You got to go down there, mummy. You also have a hat of some kind. Uh, you go up there. That's just a, a tiara of some kind. You go down here. Oh, that was a mistake! But why? That was not a mistake! It was a mistake, but it's it's a mask. It doesn't qualify as a hat. I beg to differ. I beg to differ, my friends. All right, you go up here. Um, up here you go as well with your tiara. You, I guess you're going. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You guys are fucking with me now. Um, you up here. You up here. I I don't know what I'm sending or why I'm sending them now. <laughs> I'm feeling very confused about the the mask fella. The, the coyote dude. Oh, Jesus. God, you... Oh! oh! Oh, that was a mistake, too. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Down you go. Oh, you got blood under your feet. D the people that I send down, that they have... You you have a knife and a fucking hat like your... What, what's her name? The, the Cumbia King. Or Queen, I should say. Celia Cruz, I believe that was her name. She was the Cumbia King. You know, Cuban lady sang all the time. That's the, that's the hat right there. Go, go to hell. You go to hell, too. And I guess you go up. Okay, this one was confusing to me, I'm gonna admit to you. Cause I sent one guy, one of the mass dudes, up, and it was fine. Then I sent him down and it wasn't fine, but then they reversed it on me, I don't know. But we have new clients now, going forward. I'm confused. I'm so confused. Mummy man! Alright, so we got a great evade though, which is fine. But, I'm starting to feel the, the pressure here. That was our first week, so we have a thousand with debt, three hundred with gluttony, one fifty with war, and two seventy five with pestilence, huh? Alrighty, do we have time for another one? Oh, we're actually out of time here today, guys. We are out of time, so how about we wrap it up here? This is a, a one shot at the moment, but if you enjoyed and want to see some more, definitely let me know, and I'll continue covering it. This comes out on the twenty third, so if you enjoyed, all the information in the description will tell you to pick this up. Really fun game. Um, if you want to see some more, definitely let me know. No, we'll cover more of it going forward. I would remind it. I guess it seems to be getting more tougher and tougher as we go along here, so I really am curious to see what happens down the line. But I'll leave that up to you guys to decide. I will catch you next time.